Welcome to another episode of Core Quizzes. I'm Legacy. And I'm Max. I'm Bobby. I'm Jay. And I'll move it over to uh, D3. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it is just a comic book trivia night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. What can I say? I'm good. Wow. Hey, y'all gotta give me credit where credit is due. I'm very proud of myself. I want y'all to know that. You shouldn't be. If you couldn't tell by that beautiful introduction made by the legendary me, we're doing a comic book trivia night, and we have the usual suspects. Gentlemen, are y'all ready? Yes. Let me get old Google fired up real quick. <clears throat> oh, you too. <laughs> well, your very first question should be an easy one. What mm-hmm. superhero group is also known as the strangest superheroes of all time? This is easy. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Very easy. Strangest, strangest superheroes of all time. Hmm. I, don't I, don't change, man, I, don't, not... I don't share your thought that this is easy. This is like yeah, I don't either. Let me change mine because that's not going to be a superhero group. Oh, you're wrong, Max. What what do you think it is? My now that you have it, would have been X Men. X Men is correct. Dang it! As well as Doom Patrol. Man, I was Thank thinking Doom them. Patrol. I put, uh, this. I put the Bizarro League instead. Oh, you're you wrong. wrong. I love it. I think of it right after the buzzer. Thank God. All right, guys. Which character came first? Mr. Fantastic or Elongated Man? Both are known for their stretching abilities. All right. So who came first? Elongated Man or Mr. Fantastic? All right. I guess. If you want to know, Elongated Man is not the same as Mr. Plastic. Plastic Hold Man. Hold on. Who not was the same. in... He has like that purple and white suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple and white. I thought it was red. Might have red in the cart. I mean, it's, he has a purple one at one point. Yeah, yeah. In one, he's purple, but uh, I think in Super Friends, it was red. Just League Unlimited, he was he had purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was like a, it was kind of like a similar suit to Mister Fantastic. Honestly, everyone is correct. It is Elongated Man. Yeah, he debuted in he debuted in nineteen sixty. Mister Fantastic, nineteen sixty one. I always just go with like the one that you least expect to be earlier. Yeah, uh, I mean, I didn't give y'all on Plastic Man because he debuted well before the other two. Quite old. Like 1940s. Yeah. Villain Spot is a part of what superhero's Rose Gallery? He says Villain Spot? As Spot. S-P-O-T. What Rose Gallery does he belong to? This guy has some weird ones, so we'll see. Jacob, you are correct. We like to tell him who the he belongs yeah, to. Yeah, Spot is a uh, Spider-Man villain. The Spider-Man villain. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of like um circle or spots on his body. And yeah. Spider-Man tries to punch him, and it just goes right through him. Yeah. The, See, the, I his, was. Yeah, his fist will go like through the hole, and then like through the hole in his head. Yeah. See, I think I was thinking about that guy, but I thought he was a Batman villain. Uh, yeah. I was like, hey guys, this this is going to be the easiest question. The whole quiz. But it's the name of the newspaper company Peter Parker works for. He just wants someone to trip up. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And will y'all? Uh, no. I uh, no, none of y'all tripped up. It is a three for three. It is a Daily Bugle. I almost found what Daily Planet. I, 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 I always, planet. No, I always remember as Planet as Superman because he came from a different. Yeah, planet. that's how I always. Remember. Yeah, I yeah. remember. After Alfred's death in 1964, he comes back as what supervillain? I was unaware. He was a villain. He was a villain at one point in time. Uh, After have y'all, um, have y'all read about uh, this? Is actually a good. I actually like the villain. I have no. I've never heard of this in my life. <laughs> you're so you're so dumb, Max. I swear. <laughs> I have no clue. Might as well come up with something. He's also in. Um. He's also in the Flashpoint comic. Yeah. Max did. Max did Doctor Alfredo. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> did Penny's worth the clown. <laughs> and Jacob's the only one that's correct. It's the Outsider. Yeah. He's like no. uh, he has like a top hat, not not a top hat, but like a uh, I can't really count it, what the hat's called. But you like you know who also wears a top hat? Uh, Doctor Alfredo. Oh, <laughs> oh, so maybe maybe you're thinking of yeah. Does did your does your guy have a cane and wear a suit as well? Oh yeah, everything, oh, the whole okay. thing. Yep, okay. full on. Dude, he told me his name was Doctor Alfredo. <laughs> he told. Oh, that's what he told you. Number six. Copyright. Who came who came first, Lobo or Wolverine? Hmm. Both anti-heroes, both similar personalities. Who did it first? I kind of hope Jason Momoa does leave Aquaman because he would be the perfect Lobo. He would be a perfect Lobo. Max, you're the only one that's correct. Oh man, 
Uh, see, I, I thought <laughs> I thought this one would not be the. I was like, they're gonna think it's not the obvious one. That's what he yeah. wants us to think, but it is the obvious one. <laughs> uh, Wolverine appeared in 1974 in the Incredible Hulk, and Lobo first appeared in 1983. Dang, not, even close. Close. not even close. See, I had the feeling that Lobo was like not True. too long ago, but I was like, you know, I got, I got to, I got to try it. <laughs> True, because he's a smaller, he's a smaller character, but then yeah. I was like, you know, was, was like, okay, but yeah. I'm like, Wolverine took a long time to come through. He's not as well, old was, as you I was think. Like, maybe, I was like, maybe there's like an old version of Lobo that I'm not worried about. Yeah. All right, question seven. The villain, Abracadabra, is a part of what superhero's rose gallery? Oh, boy, boy, boy. Who boy, knows boy. Abracadabra? I've heard this one. You definitely. I'm gonna guess that one's very one, Max, aren't you? I mean, until it hits. Philip, you, you, you should know this. All right, Jay, you're the only one that is correct. He is yeah, a so, member of yeah. the Flashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, not, yeah it's, not, it's not Phil that you knows. Josh would definitely. No, no, that. I had the Flash okay. too, and then I switched that last second. I had the Flash, and I was like, I swear I remember him from the TV because okay. I was yeah, like, yeah, I heard him in, in the TV, TV series. series. He's played by Polka Dot Man. Yeah, I don't know many Flash villains. No, I just watch the TV series. Is the only reason. Question eight: What is the best-selling superhero comic book series of all time? That's so many. This is just collectively over his whole entire lifespan. Are we saying a hero or like a? Yes, a hero. Art. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say because I was gonna go Archie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a superhero. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I'm Do I go with the one. obvious? Yeah. See, I'm gonna go with an obvious. It is not Batman. Oh, okay. It is yeah. not Spider-Man. It is. Man with the red cape, Superman. Hey, I'm, so yeah. glad, I'm glad I didn't change my answer. I need to stop changing. I had Superman too, and then I was like, Nah, it's Batman. Mm -hmm. Batman's more popular. More popular. I think superheroes sold more during the beginning of his run, yeah. so it really helped boost those numbers. Yeah, he got a he, you know, he got a big lead, but Batman's closing the gap. Question nine. What's the name of the first villain Batman ever faced? Uh, it doesn't have to be a super villain, just just a bad guy. Oh, and very nice person. That uh, that makes that, that doesn't help me one bit. It's not the obvious. It not be the obvious. I remember oh, Captain America. Sure. I remember the you know his cover. Uh, everyone is wrong. The very first person he faced was Alfred Stryker. All right. Yeah, was getting that. Who was getting Alfred that. Stryker, I'm, bro? I'm looking this up right now. He's like a fat balding man. He has a knife. Okay, so it's just like some dude. It's probably just, you know, criminal of the week type thing. Question 10. You villain sleaze. I control what two superheroes make a adult video, shall we say? So someone recorded two super... Oh, I, I tried that. Yeah, he mind control. Who was it? Though? I'll give you one point for each superhero. And I believe he didn't try to sell it to Darkseid, and Darkseid was, was repulsed by it. Dude, what the fuck is the storyline? Okay, thank Don't you. ask me. Thank you for oh, having me because I was, I mean, I figured it was DC, but I just wanted to clarify it was DC. Yes, I will help you as DC. <laughs> what is this storyline? This is not what I want in my superhero stuff. Why does Darkseid care about a smut film, huh? Maybe it was, so, maybe they just, they were so dirty at grotesque. <laughs> he wants to take, he wants to, he wants to take over the universe. Exactly. So what they did in that tape must have been really disgusting. <laughs> All right. So I put Black Canary and Green Arrow. Only one person got one person right. <laughs> that was Max. He did get Superman. Oh, no. sure Superman, Superman, <laughs> Superman, and Big Barda. Villain named Sleaze fits, but I, I don't like this. Is a <laughs> this is like WWF Mar uh, Mark Henry uh, so, hand thing. Yeah, this is so funny. I saw that. Like, this is too hilarious. Question eleven: What was the first Marvel video game Marvel video. on a console? I should specify on a console. Awesome. Can you just give me the superhero name? Yeah. I'm, I'm, give me like the exact title. I'm, I'm assuming this is the title, but yeah, I don't know. That's a three for three. That is Spider Man. It was on the Atari 2600 yeah. and it came out in 1982. So you all got the first Marvel game on the console, but can you give me the first DC video game on console? Uh, this was also on the Atari 2600. I love how all y'all guessed the same person. Yeah. <laughs> all y'all guessed Batman. And you're wrong. It it's Superman. Superman. Uh, yeah. I mean, that 50 50 shot. We yeah, yeah, 50 50. But y'all got the wrong one. It's amazing how all y'all got the wrong 50 50. I, I could think of more. I could think of more old Batman games than I could old Superman. Yeah, this came out at the same time as the movie. No, 1978, about the yeah, same time as the movie. That. So, a comic book company had once trademarked the word zombie. Mm hmm. 
Now the question is: that one of the big two, or is it someone else? Yeah, this is uh, this, this could go one or two ways. No, I am picking this only for one reason. I have no clue. Well, you know, this trademark did expire in 1996. So we can all say zombie. According to the end, I don't know. I mean, then that could lie to me. Ooh, Phil, no, it was not DC. It was Marvel. I nice. Picked, I picked Marvel only because of the Marvel Zombies series. I, just I don't guessed. know if DC called them zombies, but they was with the Black Green Lantern, and pretty much everyone got turned into zombies. Yeah, they're the undead. Thank you. Question fourteen: What is the name of the fro- of the Frog Thor? <laughs> frog Thor has a name. What is that name? Mightiest Frog in all of Asgard. Yeah. All right. So Max gave me Ribbit Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Bill gave me Frog Thor. Maybe. Bigger gave me the correct answer. And Throg. Throg. I'm sure Ribbit Thor is a character. Unbelievable, guys. Question 15. Who appeared first? Solomon Grundy or the Hulk? Of big, burly guys that have a lot of anger and not a lot of brains. Grundy, born on a Monday. Person on Tuesday. Everyone is correct. It is Solomon Grundy. First appeared in 1944. Hulk was in 1962. Yeah, I was like, I know Grundy's old. Question 16. What comic book villain once served as the Iranian ambassador to the United Nations? Sounds like something this guy would do. Yeah, I'm Phil. This, uh, this guy seems in character. Jacob is correct. It is Come the on. Joker. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was the Joker. Question 17. What superhero did Batman knock out with one punch? I mean, he's probably, he's probably done that like to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's very known for doing this to this one particular person. I don't, I don't know. Everyone, I just say superhero, not a villain, a superhero. Mm-hmm. 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 Right, Phil, you are the only one that is correct. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's Jordan. the Green Lantern. He deserved it. I mean, it wasn't Hal Joy, it was Guy Gardner. Well, it was Green Lantern. It was Green Lantern, though, so you are correct. Knocked him out one punch, and everybody made fun of Guy Gardner for getting knocked out one punch. I mean, yeah, that's something to make fun of someone for, so valid. I was thinking Flash for a second of, like, he was trying to prove something, but I was like, no, Flash wouldn't do it. Question 18. Who was the first African-American superhero to have their own comic? No pressure, everyone. Ooh, Phil, you are anchor. It was not Black Lightning. Was nice. Luke Cage? Yes. All right, good. Yes, nice. So Max and Jacob good. were correct. Um, Black Lightning would didn't appear first in the comic book, but he did not have his own series. Question nineteen: What is Power Girl's biggest weakness? Power Girl. Oh, uh, oh, God. Oh, yeah. What was it? All right. God, I can't remember. It's, a, it's, it's an interesting weakness. I'll you said say. what was her weakness? Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting one. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, so it wasn't love. It wasn't Power Man. And it wasn't sunlight. Oh, it was uh, raw slash unprocessed material, so like nature. We hit it with a tree branch that that would hurt her a lot. She can't go outside then. I mean, if you shoot her, you know that doesn't hurt her. You hit it with a branch. Throw some grass on her. You, you might, yeah, you throw some grass on her. She's down for the count. Like I said, whack her with a tree branch, knock her out. <laughs> I feel well, like that's a worst, that was a good week. This worst that's super. Yeah, hey, nice. there is a comic book panel where she gets hit with like a, a a tree branch and she gets knocked out. It's just hilarious. She has that's to fear really? every child on the planet. That's gotta be the worst weakness of all time. <laughs> Question twenty: In the original Thor canon, how long how long must he be away from Mariner to lose all his powers? I okay. If he was away from. Man, for this amount of time, he lose all his powers. Obviously, they, they did change this in later comics. Every time I have no clue, you get the joke answers. Actually wrong. It's not 69 hours. It's mm-hmm. not a day. It's not seven days. It was just one minute. Oh, that's boring. We can't go to the bathroom without me under? Right. Yeah, so they, yeah, they, they did retcon that. that. <laughs> and so they did retcon that in the future to be longer than a minute. Does, does he have to be holding it the whole time? Because he can't possibly hold that every second of every day. I don't I don't know. I, I didn't read the comments, but that's just what it said. I imagine it just has yeah. to be in the vicinity, like an eye shot. Mm-hmm. Like, they have one, like, a lot of supervillains try to get him away from his from here under for a minute. I mean, you know. it, I mean if it, it takes a minute, I can see why. It's not long. Question 21. Who is known as the right hand of Doom? Never mind, Jacob. <laughs> right hand of Doom. Hmm. You should well, You should know. Well, not you. I don't even know if you've seen. Never mind. I'll wait. 
I mean, that, that was a heck of a right punch, Phil. I'll give you that. It's not George Dredd. It's not Big Barda. Jacob is correct. It is Hellboy. Hellboy. Because they say, oh. I was going to say, if, big you right the, hand. if you see the movie, if you have seen the movies, they do say that quite a bit. Question 22. What is the name of Mr. Freeze's wife? Okay. All right. Let's think. I'm assuming oh, okay. it's been consistent throughout all of comics. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the anime TV show than the gonna, Batman you're movie. Gonna, you're going to be so mad if you don't get this. <laughs> oh, that's not coming to me. Uh -oh. mm. once, and, once, once you hear the answer, you're like, oh my god. I know. I should know this. Especially seeing the, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie so many times as kids. I know. I'm trying to remember it. I'm trying to remember what he said because he said her name. Yep. That's honestly the only reason I know it. That guy, man. I'm not going to know it. Wow. I'm pissed. Right, Jake is the only one that's correct. Jake, can you tell him? Nora. Ah. Oh. Oh. No, I thought that was me, but I was mistaken. <laughs> Jake is the only one that's correct. Question okay. 23. What is the top selling comic book overall? I'll give you a hint. It's a superhero or superhero group with the number one next to it. Okay. Uh, I was going to put I was gonna put number one anyway. I didn't need your damn help. I don't I could need do it. you. Yeah, I could my, do it my, my answer was going to be the Cedar Ray as well. Building multiple sources on this, and this is the answer it gave me. Um, I don't know. Uh, Bat Family. <laughs> uh, all y'all incorrect is X Men number one. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I would have thought it was Spider Man. I take Spider Man. I thought it was gonna be a so, Superman. The one way this puppet is Jeff is out on the cover. According to this, it sold over eight million copies, and no other comic book has sold over eight million. Right. This one doesn't go for as much. Uh, it was only three point six million. Huh. Pathetic numbers. I'm pathetic. Everyone's incorrect. X Men number one. I find this one might be easy as well. Most mm. superheroes also known as Big Blue. Hmm. There's a lot of blue superheroes though. Not all of them are called Big Blue. I have no clue. <laughs> but according to my research, only one is called Big Blue. Oh y'all incorrect. It's not Beast. It's not Doctor Manhattan. And it is not the Tick. Thank you. It's God. Superman. The tick it's was going to be my second guess. I almost guessed the tick as well. Oh, it's it's, always, it's, I, it's, I should just guess Superman for every damn question. I get them more right than I do wrong. I mean, I'm sorry, but Big Blue Superman. And, that's, uh, that's his okay, name. And, and after seeing the uncensored uh, Watchmen, uh, we can all agree Dr. Manhattan is the real Big Blue. That's why I picked him. Uh. <laughs> 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 But Max, are you saying this is kind of like a basketball reference or sports reference where they just give him random nicknames that no one ever calls him? Yes. What are you saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. He always been Big Blue. Question 25. Who was the first villain the Avengers ever faced in Avengers number one? I Avengers number one. This is the first villain they ever faced in their comic series. I know Justice League. I, but that was a question before. But yeah, I know Justice League is a start since. Star, Starra was the yeah. 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 Who would they fight? Who would they fight? I don't know. I have another guess, but going by this, I should probably guess the second one. That I'm thinking of, but I'll stick with my well, my first. Well, thank you. For final, you can't change your answer. Yeah, yeah. final, you only get yeah. one guess. And Phil, it's the right answer. All y'all guess the same person. Are you? Are you That's hilarious. <laughs> all y'all, all y'all are wrong. Dang. Is it Loki? It was Loki. Damn it! Dang! If only, if only you had waited before you press send. Mm. It was Loki. I That's like how all y'all get stuck to Once I thought of Loki, I'm like, that sounds like a much better answer. I should have gone with like, that. I was like, Doctor Doom's a big bad, you know. He's old as well. He's yeah, a big well, bad. I, I I thought about the movie. I was like, no, they didn't do the same one for the first movie as they did for that first comic mm. book. Oh no, they did. They sure did. My trust was elimination. They got one. He had six points. Everyone else zero. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to be clear. I never claimed to know comics. Um, so apparently I have a lot to learn and um, I'll work on it and uh, hopefully I'll improve for the next round. I also <laughs> want to be cleared and notified that I claim to know comic book movies, not comics. Thank you for setting that up, D3. Congratulations again, Vitamin J, for winning this and killing comic book trivia. That's because y'all don't read. That's, that's why. Yeah, yeah. That's sorry. Right. I, I watch the movies. I'm sorry. There's the movies. They do it the same so, way. So, so the, the lesson of the day is read. 
That's fine. <clears throat> you know what? Wait until I come with my next MCU trivia. It's gonna make you look yeah, like dude, an idiot. Yeah, no, you got. Yeah, gonna yeah. Nice, but... Till next time, let us know your score below and see how well you did. <laughs>